So today we're going to take a little different twist on these videos. I'm not going to show you, but I want to show you. I've had several comments in, in many of my videos on just some of the common things that you run into when developing a power app. I think you're going to like this video because we're going to go over some of the common ones. This is actually a printout that I have that I keep with me at all times, um, just in a book. So whenever I'm doing power app work, I have it right next to me. So stay tuned. We're going to jump into how to capture data in an edit form, how to sort based on a uh, drop down with a switch. And we're going to reset a text field. We're going to add a new field to a SharePoint list. And we're going to add a task ID automatically and add a randomized number behind it. So lots of great stuff in this video. Stay tuned. All right. So let's start with the first one here. Capture data. Actually, let's go down to this one. Add new data. So let's say you're developing an application and you need to place data within um within a SharePoint list. This is really easy. This is in the, I should have put this in here. This is in the um, items. Now I'm, see, I forget easily um, where this is. This is in the item, in the save button. I'm sorry, save button um, and the on select. All right, so you've created a save button and, and you're on the on select uh, option there. And here we're going to patch. And remember, patch is just what it means. It's patching data in a SharePoint list. Easy peasy. This is the SharePoint list, data understand. So just remember, data understand, that's the SharePoint list. And then we're just going to put defaults in front of that. Make sure you don't forget those commas in there. And then we're going to take and add the field. So I have, as you can see here, I'm going to highlight them all. These are all the fields that I'm working um, inside of this patch. So I've literally just created this one, for example. Notice that I'm using txt underscore and the name of the field, text tags, text, task tags, task tags. Remember, this is really, really important when you do this because you want to make sure that these match and that you're good to go. So remember, label everything in Power App. That's over in your tree view. I've labeled this text, and then this is a text field. Here, this is a drop down. So notice again, I've used DRP underscore. It's a drop down, and the field name is org name, org name. Now, this field name happens to be org name underscore one because I have multiple org names. So this box, this drop down box, this represents the box on my Canvas and Power Apps is org underscore one. And now because it's a drop down, the drop down is doing the selection for me. So in this one, I'm asking the user to input text. This one, I'm giving them an option, right? A drop down to use. So I'm going to do selected dot value. Okay. So whatever they select, I want to capture that value. This one here is a number field. So here, the actual column, remember this is the column name, percentage done within this list, it's value. So I have to put, it's a numeric value. So I have to put value in front of it because I'm taking it in from a text field. All right, so text, it's a text input field on the canvas called this dot text. Notice again, they're the same. These are text, text, text. We've already talked about those. And then here's a date one. There's three of them here. So look down here. So this is the date value. So if it's a date field, remember this follow up, due, and start date. These are all dates, date columns within the SharePoint list. Date value, you need to put that in front of there. All right, then put it inside the parentheses. This is the name of the box, right? The selection box for task follow up date. Okay, and again, it's a little off because I had to rename them uh, because there's multiple ones in this app. And then we want to use this dot selected date, selected date. Okay, so if you didn't get all of that, pause the screen, take a screenshot, put it in a Word document and print it. Put it in a notebook that you use all the time. Put it on your desk so you can access it easily. That's how you add a new field to a SharePoint list. And that's the save button on select. Pretty easy. Don't forget the little squiggly down here, the parenthesis, and the semicolon if you're going to have other things inside this code. That's adding new. So we're going to pause there. I'm going to do this as a four-series 
uh, video. So come back and look at the other ones. This is add a new field in SharePoint.